Crossover is an incredible app for Mac that lets you play tons of PC-exclusive games directly on Mac. It's a little tough to learn how to use at first, but once you get the hang of it, it really is the best way to run games on Mac. One thing to note is that for every game installed for Mac, Crossover will add an icon to the app. Having said that, if you delete a game from Crossover, it doesn't automatically delete the icon, leading to a messy app library. In this video, we'll look at how to remove these icons to keep your crossover looking fresh and minimal. We're going to go to Finder. We're going to go to the User folder. Applications. Crossover. Let's go to Steam. And I can delete Crash Bandicoot. I've already deleted Atomic Heart. Let's get rid of the ramp and I already deleted Mafia Definitive Edition. Take note that deleting these files will not remove the actual game from your computer. Only the game icon in your crossover library will be deleted. Once we're done, you can exit out of the window, empty your trash, then let's quit crossover, and now we can reopen it, and as you can see, only the apps that I want to remain in crossover are there.